So A Quiet Place Day One is a movie that you must see in a movie theater. I don't care if it's a public theater, a private theater, or your home theater. I highly advise you watch it in a theater of some sort. What makes this movie absolutely incredible is the sound design. The sound design was so good that it made all the chairs in the theater vibrant. Not to mention that the dialogue was very articulated and well designed in post-production. It's one thing to record great sound on production, but it's another thing to really enhance it and make it come to life in post-production. The music composition puts you in the mood for every single scene. Not gonna lie, I got a little teary-eyed watching some of it. Another element that makes this movie absolutely incredible is the cinematography. All I can say is Pat Scola, the director of photography, was absolutely incredible with every single decision he made for capturing the right shot. Because I mean, if you think about it, A Quiet Place is meant to be a jarring movie. And jarring means there's going to be shaky cameras. It's not meant to be easy on the eyes. Compared to filming the movie on a tripod, kind of like I'm filming this on a tripod right now, where the image sits still and there's not really much shaky or action involved. There was also really great use of focus pulling. Focus pulling is when you focus the lens on a particular subject in the scene. So having a specific subject in focus at first and then focus pulling to the other subject in frame. This was done really well at crucial moments because everything at every second was done intentionally to benefit the story. And with cinematography, you obviously want to make the shot look pretty, but an excellent cinematographer makes sure that the shot correlates with the story you're trying to tell. If you can't bring your audience into the story visually, then you haven't done your job right. Another surprising characteristic about this movie is the VFX are actually really good. VFX stands for visual effects. And after looking at IMDb, apparently there was a crew of 124 VFX members. Isn't that incredible? Honestly, like, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it if you saw it on the screen. You're always gripping your seat preparing for that next moment. The characters and their relationships were spot on when it came to the writing of this film. The scenario and outcome of each scene is edited spot on and the pacing is just chef's kiss. And what makes each scene come to life is not just the cinematography, but what else do we have to feel in order to really get into the story? We have to hear it. The sound design was absolutely incredible. And without the sound design, this movie would not be what it is. Pretty much the way this movie is edited is it feasts on our emotions in a good way and just takes us for a ride on that thrilling journey. Now the reason I say you should watch it in a movie theater is because of this. The 5.1 surround sound makes you feel like you're actually in the environment. And the motion picture is done just right to the point where if you were to watch this movie on a small screen, let's say your laptop, you're watching it on an airplane or the small TV at your house, which you're probably watching this video, the movie would not have the same effect. Using a pair of your best headphones, it's just not gonna cut it. You won't have the same experience compared to those who watched it in a movie theater. Now going into the movie, I did not know that it wasn't directed by John Krasinski and instead was directed by Michael Cernowski, who was also one of the screenwriters for A Quiet Place alongside John Krasinski. Honestly, excellent job of directing and just shaping the story. Fun fact, if you look it up on IMDb, this movie was made on a budget of $67 million. And on its opening weekend, it grossed $52,202,495. That's really good. At least for the way movie theaters are operating now, that's really good. And believe it or not, pre-production had its phases, it was on and off. But it really started to happen June 22nd of 2022. And then filming, the actual production, began June 2nd of 2023. You can only imagine how much went into that. And then once they filmed everything and the movie is all captured, then comes post-production, the editing phase. And that took place on May 2nd of 2023. And then I'm assuming they took a little bit of a break and it picked up again on May 4th of 2024. The movie finally finished on May 14th of 2024, and that's when we started to see all the trailers, and was finally released on June 24th of this year, 2024. At the end of the day, I'm not one to reveal spoilers. So if that's what you were looking for, there's other movie reviews out there. But I highly recommend you watch this movie if you're into horror slash thrillers, films that keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. And if movie theaters aren't necessarily your cup of tea, I understand. But just know, you're not gonna get nearly as great of an experience having not watched it in a movie theater. So if you're watching this video while A Quiet Place Day 1 is still out in theaters, grab your ticket right now after watching this video and get watching. Well, 
Time to go back out there and search for food. Wish me luck.